a question that I get all the time is how to install mods for Minecraft. So I decided to make an in-depth guide for installing mods in Minecraft in 2024. Fabric, there is Forge, Neoforge. In this video, we're going to try and cover all of that. So hopefully you can watch this guide at any moment of 2024 and you can install any mods that you want for Minecraft. You could always come back to this video as well. Make sure you save this video, you like this video so you could always find it in case you want to install certain mods and it requires a different mod loader. Since we're going to cover all of them in this video, you could always come back to it. Anyways, let's get started with this tutorial. First, let's get to the basics. How do you install mods in Minecraft? Well, in order to add mods for Minecraft, you're going to need a mod loader. There is a lot of mod loaders, but there are two main ones. Forge and you also have Fabric and nowadays you also have Neo Forge which is becoming popular among these two among Fabric and Forge and in this guide we're going to cover how to install Forge, Fabric and Neo Forge. We're going to cover how to install every single one of these mod loaders for Minecraft. However, you don't need to install all of them. You only need to install one in order to mod Minecraft. We're going to start by installing Forge and we're going to leave a guide in the description for every single mod loader. So you guys could just read through this at any moment of the year and this guide will be completely updated for that moment of the year. So you make sure you get that most recent version of the mod loader installed. Anyways, let's go ahead and install Forge first. Click on the second link in the description, which is gonna be our written guide on how to download and install Forge. It's also going to be labeled in case you struggle finding it. And once you're here in the guide, I want you to scroll down and click where it says download Forge here. It's in the first step and that is going to redirect you to the Forge website. Now in here, as you can see, you have multiple Minecraft versions in the Left, all you have to do is find that version that you want for your Minecraft game. As of right now, the most recent version of Minecraft is 1.24. So of course, we're going to download the 1.24. In order to do that, all you have to do is click on that one on the versions in here. Obviously, if there's a newer Minecraft, you could download that one. Click where it says installer. That will redirect you over here where you have to wait five seconds. And then after five seconds, a button label as a skip is going to appear in the top right. Click on that button and that will begin the download for Forge. Once you have the Forge file downloaded, you can go ahead and drag and drop it to your desktop. There we go. Now that the file is ready, we could drag and drop it into our desktop. And now we have Forge. And before we install Forge, I want to download a mod, right? I don't want to just install a mod loader and not have any mods. The way you're going to download mods, it's by using any official or recognized or safe mods website. There are a lot of them. One of the most famous one is CurseForge. You could always search through mods in CurseForge. And you also have mod prints. You could search through mods in these two websites. All you have to do is look for them and you'll be able to grab mods from here. Okay. However, for this video, we're going to download the journey map. And we have a guide in the description on how to download and install the journey map. So yeah, that's the one we're going to use for this video. But if you want a specific different mod, you can search for the websites that are previously mentioned. However, if you want to follow along and download the same mod as me, just go ahead and click on that third link in the description, which is the journey map. Let's scroll down and click where journey map in here and then look for the version that matches. And this is very important for you guys to know. Look for the version that matches your mod loader. If you're going to install Forge like I am, then you just got to find the Forge version in here. Obviously, you want to make sure that the game version also matches your mod loader. So as you can see, I want to look for the Forge 1.24 version of journey map, which is right here, right? Obviously, you could always filter through things. You could click on them and filter it. But we're just going to grab it from here. All you have to do once you find that version that you want and the mod loader that you want and that you have, click on the little three dots, click download file. And after five seconds, your file will start downloading. And once you have that file, you can go ahead and drag and drop it to your desktop, just like we did with the Forge installer. And now that we have Forge, the installer, and we also have a journey map, we are kind of ready to begin installing things. Now, the first thing you want to do is launch Forge, right? The installer for Forge. However, you have to make sure that your Minecraft launcher is closed and whatever version of Forge or Fabric or Neo Forge you're installing, any mod loader you're installing, you have to make sure that you have played that version of the Minecraft game in vanilla. So since we're installing Forge 1.20.4, you have to make sure that you have played Minecraft 1.20.4 at least once on your computer. We do that in order to create an instance folder for the Forge mod loader to install to. Since I already have played Minecraft 1.20.4 once and my game is closed as well as a launcher, all you have to do now is double click the Forge installer and that is going to open the Forge installer. If the Forge installer doesn't open whenever you click on it, that is probably because you don't have updated Java. I recently installed Windows 11 and I realized that Windows 11 doesn't come with Java 17 and you're going to need Java in order to open jar files. And these files, the mods and the mod loaders are all jar files. You're always going to use a jar file to install a mod loader. So you have to make sure that you have Java installed. If you don't have Java 17 installed on your computer, I'm going to leave a guide in the description on how to download and install Java 17. It's pretty simple. All you do 
is download Java 17 from the website, you open it and you click next, next a couple of times and that's it. You install Java 17 and you will now be able to open jar files. However, if when you install Java 17, you're having any issues to open jar files, you might have to run a jar fix. So pretty much what a jar fix does is literally fix jar files. So you install Java 17, you download jar fix, which is a one click thing and you launch it and that's it. It will fix all your jar files to be able to link these jar files with the newer instance of Java, which is Java 17 in this case, to then be able to open them. I hope that wasn't too confusing and I know it's going to help a lot of you that are struggling to open these files. You might try to open the Forge installer and it might open as a website, a document, something like that. So yeah, installing Java is going to fix that issue for you and it's going to make sure you see the icon of Java and you could open it. Once you open the Forge installer, all you have to do to install it is click OK. OK, by default, it should be where it needs to be and just click OK for it to start installing. Now, while Forge is installing, I want to let you know about today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you need a Minecraft server, Apex Hosting is here for you. They offer you tons of advantages, but something that I personally love about Apex Hosting is that you could control the server console through your phone, either for your Java or your Bedrock server. You could be like a Walmart, you could be away from home and you could kick people out of your server. You could change the settings of the server, whatever you want to do, you could do so through your phone. And also, if you use the first link in the description, you get 25% off. So I'm going to leave that link there for you guys. If you want to go ahead and use Apex Hosting, that will be great. Anyways, let's keep going with the tutorial. As we can see, Forge already installed. It's successfully installed. We could click on OK and we could even delete the installer now as well as this little text document that just appears when you install Forge. Now, in order to add the mod that we just downloaded, go ahead and launch your Minecraft launcher, okay? When you launch your Minecraft launcher, if you install Forge properly, and mine is opening on my other window, let's go ahead and drag it over here. Once you open your Minecraft launcher, if you install Forge properly, you should see it selected automatically in here. Obviously, mine is not selected automatically because I had already installed Forge in the past, but most of you will see Forge in here. If that's not the case for you, you could always head over to installations and make sure that modded is selected right here in the top right, because if modded is not selected, you won't see, as you can see, you won't see Forge, okay? Anyways, as we can see, we have Forge in here, we installed it, all good. Now, how do we add the mods? Well, we head over to installations and then we find Forge in here, we hover over it and we click on this little folder that appears right next to Forge. That is going to open a folder with a lot of files. And in this folder, we're looking for another folder called mods, M-O-D-S. However, there's a big chance that this mods folder won't be here for you. So I'm going to go ahead and drag mine out. There's a big chance that you won't have this mods folder in here. What do you do? Simple. Right click, click new, click folder, and then just type MODS. Type mods and you could create that mods folder yourself. Go ahead and open that folder, which now should be empty because you just created it and drag and drop the journey map into there. The file that we downloaded earlier, the mod file, the journey map mod or any mod that you download. And remember, you could also download your own mods, whatever mod you want, you could download. Once you have that mod here in the mod folder and you're sure it's the right mod that is compatible with your mod loader, go ahead and close this folder, head back to your Minecraft launcher and you can now play your Forge game, right? If you install the Forge one. However, if you want to do this with Fabric, the process is really similar as well as doing it for NeoForge. And I'm gonna show you how to install the Fabric uh, mod loader in a second because the Fabric one does vary a little bit. You might have to do an extra step, but everything else is going to be pretty similar to installing Forge, just like we did, right? So as you can see now, our Forge version of Minecraft is loading. We can see a different menu in here. We can see that extra things are being loaded and that is because we're playing modern Minecraft now. Let's just wait for this to open. I wanna open a world real quick and show you guys that we now have the map working, which is the mod that we installed, right? And as you can see, now that we're in the world, we have journey map open on the top right. If we press J, it's working. Okay. So we now know that the mods are working. We know that the Forge loader is working. Obviously, if we launch Forge and we don't have any crashes while it's loading, then we know it's working. Okay. And that is pretty much how to download and install Forge. And now you're ready to keep modding Minecraft and adding any mods that you want. However, when you install mods, downloading the mod through CurseForge or ModRinth, just read the description of the mod because many other mods will have different requirements and they might need you to download extra files that you then are going to add to the mods folder like we added the mod. Okay. You're not going to have to install anything extra. You're not going to have to install any mod loader or anything different, but you might have to download extra files. If you already have Forge and now you're happy with mods, well, that's it. You could click out of this video and you could go on with your day. But now I'm going to teach you how to install Fabric because I don't want to make this guide only for Forge. Let's go ahead and close the game. And now how do we install Fabric? Well, first of all, you want to click on that guide in the description that says Fabric. I don't really know what it is at this moment because I'm going to have so many links in the description. Just make sure that it says Fabric. Okay, just look for it. And then you're going to be here in our Fabric mod loader guide again, an in-depth guide. All you have to do is to scroll down and click on the download button uh, that is going to be here. Probably this button. I might change it in the future because this looks kind of ugly. Not going to lie. I made this at the beginning when I was starting out to make it obvious for you guys that you had to click here, but it kind of looks ugly now. Anyways, just go ahead and click on it. 
And that is going to redirect you to the uh, Fabric download website. In here, you're going to click download universal jar and then you're going to get that file right away. In my case, it asked me where to save it, but for you guys, it's just going to download right away. You're going to download that Fabric installer. And remember earlier that I said that if you wanted to install Fabric, you might need something extra. Well, that extra thing that you need is the Fabric API. Fabric API, what it's going to do is that it's going to make a bunch of mods, a majority of the mods compatible with Fabric and not having your Fabric game crash. So go ahead and click on that link. It's going to be right below the Fabric one in the description, right? Go ahead and click on that link and scroll down. Click where it says download Fabric API here. And now you're going to look for the Fabric API that you want. In this case, we're going to download the 1.20.4. But for you guys, if you're watching this in the future, you might want the 1.21, 1.22 or 1.20. I don't know, whichever version, right? We don't know when you're watching this. So you find the one that you want. Click on the little three dots, click download file. Five seconds and the download will begin. And it's the same thing here with Fabric. If you want to use Fabric mods, whatever Fabric mod you want to use, you can find them in CurseForge or ModRinth. Just look for the mod that you want and make sure that it matches the version of the mod loader that you're using. In this case, it's Fabric. So make sure that it matches that. Like, for example, we're going to go back to the journey map link. It's probably the third link in the description if you want to download it. I'm going to click on that download button. And this time we're specifically going to look for the fabric one. As you can see here, it's a 1.20.4 for fabric where it says mod loaders. We can see it says fabric. We're going to click the little three dots, click download file. And within five seconds, our file will download. As you can see, this time we downloaded a different mod. Even though it's the same mod, we downloaded a different mod file because we needed the fabric version. That is very important. And a lot of people have the game crash because they download the wrong mod and then they don't know what's happening. Well, a lot of the times you just downloaded the wrong version of the mod or the wrong mod loader version of the mod. Once you have all these files for Fabric, all you have to do is make sure that your Minecraft launcher is closed and then go ahead and launch the Fabric installer. Double click on it. That is going to open this little menu here and all you have to do is install, well, select the version that you want first of all, right? In this case, make sure it matches your Fabric API and your mod obviously is the 120.4, so we're good. And then you're gonna click install. And within a couple seconds, Fabric is going to be installed. Click on OK. You could even delete the Fabric installer now. And now, how do we add these files into the mod folder? The same way we did it with Forge. Go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher. If you install Fabric properly, you should see Fabric selected automatically here in the bottom left, just like we had Forge earlier. In my case, it might not be selected because I had already installed Fabric in the past. But if this is the first time you're installing Fabric, then you're going to have it here selected automatically. If not, head over to installations and make sure that mod it is selected. Once you're here in installations, find Fabric and click on the little folder that appears right next to the play button. That is going to open a folder with a lot of files, just like earlier. Look for that mods folder. We have it right here. And if you don't have it again, I'm going to delete mine actually this time. If you don't have it, you could always right click, press new, click folder and just type MOTS, type mods. Go ahead and open that folder up and now drag and drop that Fabric API as well as that journey map file or whatever mod you decided to download besides the Fabric API. Close this folder, head back to your Minecraft launcher, click play next to Fabric and that is going to launch your Fabric game. Obviously, we're going to wait for it to open. We're going to open a world to check if the journey map is working. That way we know that we install Fabric properly. But if we don't have any crashes while it's loading, most likely means that we install Fabric properly. It's taking a bit too low, but there we go. Always give it some time because modern Minecraft usually takes longer to load than regular Minecraft. And as you can see, we're now in the game. It says Fabric down here, so we know it's working. Let's go ahead and head over to single player. Open that uh, world that we opened earlier. Give it a second. If you want to add mods to multiplayer, you could definitely do so. However, I do recommend that you run your own server when you're adding mods, especially if they're not client side mods, you're going to need to run the server yourself to add the mods. And in order to do that, you could always use the first link in the description and get 25% off. Anyways, we're now in the world, we're using Fabric, and as you can see, Journey Map is working as well. We have the mod working here. So yeah, that is how to install Fabric. You now know how to install mods for Minecraft. Also, if you want to install NeoForge, which is the mod loader that I said that was gaining some traction recently. You could use that link in the description. I'm going to leave it in the description on how to install NeoForge. It's an in-depth guide. The process of downloading the file might be a little bit different than the other files, but installing it, it's the same exact way. You're going to launch the installer. You're going to install it and then you're going to find it in your launcher. You're going to open it, find the mods folder and add the mods to that mods folder. Same way that we did with any other previous mod loader. I'm going to leave that guide in the description for you guys that want to use the NeoForge mod loader. Maybe there's a mod that you found and it requires NeoForge. I'm gonna leave that article in the description. Anyways, guys, that has been everything from me. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that now you're able to mod Minecraft in 2024 and you're finally able to play any mod you want because you now have an in-depth guide that you could always come back to to install any mod loader. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And as always, bye-bye.